Michael Clemens wants all the smoke. The Jets rookie was really impressive in limited snaps in 2022. So let's take a look at the film and I'll show you why I'm excited about the outlook of Michael Clemens. Let's go. What is going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are back in the film room with another All-22 breakdown. And today we're looking at Mike Clemens. And I thought he was super underrated last season. There's a reason that PFF gave him a 78.7 overall grade. Now he's going to have a bigger role. And Robert Suller announced at OTAs that he's playing inside more and he's up 15 pounds of muscle. That is exciting for Michael Clemens fans and fans of the New York Jets. We're going to start by looking at Clemens as a pass rusher. Here he is against the Patriots, right-hand side from a wide alignment. I'm going to let this thing roll at full speed, but I want you to focus on the length and extension that he gets with his left arm, the ability to disengage, and then some sneaky bend around the corner to get to Mac Jones. This is a really nice combination of skills from Mike Clemens. So breaking it down, you're going to see that left arm get tight to the chest of the tackle and extend. He does a fantastic job forcing the shoulder pads and head of the tackle up. He's won the leverage battle. He's got the tight hands. Now he's going to disengage with a two-hand swipe. And look at the bend and turn around the corner. This is nice hip and lower body flexibility for a guy who's over 270 pounds at this point. He finishes the play. He's only eight yards in the backfield. He runs a tight ring around the corner and gets the sack. This is a great job stacking moves on top of one another, using leverage, a swipe, and then that sneaky bend around the corner. Great way to start the video. If you also look at the left-hand side of the screen, Jermaine Johnson, we know he loves that Euro step cross chop. There he is implementing it and he's free as well. Good job from the Jets young dogs. This rep is awesome. Right-hand side of your screen, once again, Clemens is 72. You're gonna see him coming from this wider alignment. Third down, obvious passing situation. Have a look how he bullies the left tackle with this bull rush. Ridiculous strength and a great rep. You want to talk about low man wins at the point of attack? I'm going to freeze it right here. Look at the leverage advantage that Michael Clemens has on the tackle. He gets underneath. He shoots the head up once again. But look how he continues to drive his arms and legs through this pass rush move, straight through the chest. And he has literally moved the left tackle seven, eight yards in the back field and right into the quarterback's lap. I just showed you an example of him winning to the outside, being able to disengage and bend. You combine it with this kind of speed to power conversion, that combination of moves is scary for a defensive end. This is a rookie who only played 20% of snaps. He's going to get a bigger role and he's going to be successful. Now, this kind of strength is also why Clemens is going to be able to move inside in 2023. He's going to be able to move and bully guards as well. He is Hulk. He's ridiculous, and I can't wait to see how he goes inside. But it was in the running game that Clemens really shone in 2022. Here he is against Dawson Knox. I'm going to give you the tip. Do not block this man with a tight end. He does a fantastic job getting leverage and extension, reading and reacting on the two gap, and then just monstering the running back on second and one. This is as good as it gets. What makes it impressive is the utilization of his right arm. Clemens just stands up Dawson Knox with one arm. He uses that right arm to win the leverage battle, to gain that extension and to bench press him. He's now free. He can read and react based on the decision making of the running back. This is two gapping to a T and he's there to make the play. Awesome job. You just can't block him with a tight end. It's going to mess up the play. Teams did it far too often, and Michael Clemens is too big and too strong for that. This rep against the Cincinnati Bengals may honestly be one of my favorites. Clemens, again, is on the left-hand side of your screen. Look how he blows by the tackle with explosive speed, a great move, and then flushes him outside so Quincy Williams is there to mop up the play. But this is really made by Michael Clemens. So what does he do? He takes a read step here to diagnose what the tackle's trying to do. We see him shoot off the ball. He's trying to be aggressive with his hands and get into Michael Clemens' chest. Uh-uh, he's too smart for that. Great vision, identify what he's doing. We're gonna club swim. Look how clean the hand utilization is. Are you kidding me? This is a rookie. Michael Clemens hits him with the left hand club. We're gonna swim over the top, shoot that gap, and we're gonna get in there for the assist. Even though Quincy Williams is the primary tackler, Michael Clemens destroying the left tackle makes this play. He does a fantastic job reading and reacting the movements of the left tackle. We're going to beat him with that club swim. Look at that speed. Awesome job from Michael Clemens. But on this occasion, Michael Clemens is deployed as a three-tech. This is what Robert Sala talked about in his press conference, using him more inside. This is why. 
have a look at Clemens, who's still undersized at this time, just bench pressing the left tackle and just using that athleticism to get up and down the line of scrimmage and still make the play on the running back. This is the backside of an outside zone play. Michael Clemens realistically has no right to make this, but look how quickly he disengages. He doesn't let the tackle take him for a ride. Get off me. Throws him out of the way. This is the definition of a bench press. Gets himself clean, eyes on the running back, and he's there to take away the cutback lane. This is perfection. This could be a really big gain if Michael Clemens at all gets blocked. They do a really good job moving the zero tech down the line of scrimmage here, do the Bengals. But Clemens says no. Great effort from the backside, but it all starts with powerful hands, the ability to keep himself clean, and then using that athleticism and speed to close the hole. But the last skill set that I wanted to focus on for Michael Clemens is his ability to play with his hair on fire and how hot his motor runs. This is a rep against the Bengals, which also utilizes great eye discipline. Right hand side of your screen, you're going to see Jamar Chase come on the end around, but Clemens just sniffs it out. He does a phenomenal job sticking to his assignment, great football IQ, but then having the wherewithal to see it, to diagnose, react, and make that play. This is a difficult thing to do for a rookie, never mind a rookie who weighs 270 pounds going against Jamar Chase. He stays to his responsibility. Keep the contain of the defense. Don't get overambitious. He keeps his width, good little stutter step, and then a great tackle outside of his frame. Great work, Michael Clemens. No, it's not a traditional running play, but it just shows the athleticism in space, and I love that. And the final snap here is against the Seattle Seahawks, and it's his last sack from the 2022 season. This is playing with your hair on fire. It's not always going to go perfectly, guys. He gets chopped here by the SIF motion. Look how quickly he gets to his feet and then sacks Geno Smith. Like, this is ridiculous for a big guy to have these kind of recovery skills. Get up, get off the ground, and makes the sack. It's not always going to be pretty. It isn't always going to be a beautiful pass rush move to the outside. With play action and motion and all of these things in the NFL, sometimes you need to get it done with raw athleticism and want and motor. And Michael Clemens has that in spades. I wanted to showcase that he's this kind of effort player as well as someone who has great ability to stop the run and the ability to go straight through the chest as a pass rusher too. Michael Clemens had a really well-rounded 2022 rookie season. So after watching the tape, I think it's pretty easy to understand why I'm excited about Mike Clemens' future. He's going to be playing more. He's going to be in that three-tech spot on obvious passing situations. And I think he's going to take a big leap in 2023.